Hello lovely yogis, my name is Mimi and I'm super pleased that you joined for another yoga class with me. Or if it's your first time, then hello and welcome as well. Today's focus is yoga for runners or really just for anyone who wants to spend some time on the yoga mat. We start in a seated position, ground through your sit bones, allow your spine to be tall and then start to circle your torso around your legs. And there's really no rules. Whatever feels right for you is completely fine. Maybe start to connect with your breath here already and start to lengthen through every in and exhale. Bring then your right leg up and hold your foot with your right hand. And then start to swing that leg around a little bit from left to right, from back to front. Again, no rules. Whatever, whatever helps you to tune in with your right hip is what it is and it's perfect. Let then go of your right foot and rotate that right leg all the way around behind you so you can place it back down in 90 degree shape. Place your right hand in your right hip lift that hip all the way up and then lower your chest and forehead down over your left leg come back up inhale maybe scoop the tailbone under and then pick your hip up again almost as if you lift it over a bump and come back over your left leg inhale come back up and then start to lift your right leg back towards the front place your right foot foot maybe in the nook of your left elbow and the knee in the nook of your right elbow if this is too intense and too much feel free to hold up just the shin or your foot from the outside it's almost like you're holding a baby here in your arms then start to lengthen your spine again and start to wiggle that leg around from left to right still working into the right hip feeling all the sensations step then your foot over that left knee and rotate over your right shoulder. Remember, we always want to twist from a long spine. So make sure that your sit bones are both grounded and your spine is long. And it's not the neck that is doing the whole twist work. Release your arms. Come over to your left side. Place your hands down and then just untangle your legs and come into a forward fold facing now the other side of the room or wherever you are. Swing there for a few times and then come back into seated position, going in the same direction. So then the other leg is on front. Pick your left leg up and start again to swing that leg around. Whatever feels good and natural, natural for you in this moment. Then rotate your left leg all the way behind you. Find that box shape leg again. Place your left hand in your left hip. Scoop your tailbone under with an inhale. Start to pick your hip up, lifting it over the bump to lower chest, forehead down. Inhale, come back up. Scooping tailbone under. Exhale, release. Bow forward over your left leg. Inhale, bring your shoulders back on top of your hips. And then free that leg and circle it all the way around towards the front. Holding that foot, maybe placing foot and knee again in the inside elbow. Moving the chest towards the leg and lengthening the spine just a little more with every inhalation. Free then your foot, step it over your right knee and twist into the opposite side. Hugging that knee into your chest and moving the chest towards that knee. Allowing your spine to be long and your breath still tra to travel all the way down towards your belly. Hmm. Then release. Untangle your legs. And come on your knees and your hands from here. Finding your tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide. Tune in with your whole body and then start with some cat-cow stretches. Send your sit bones to the back of the room, widen your thigh bones, allow your belly to drop, glide your shoulder blades down into your back pockets, lift the ground up towards the sky and then start at the bottom again to curl everything in. Swallow your front body with your back body, rounding the spine as much as you can. 
come into cat stretch from here cow stretch again arching your back starting at the bottom working your way up vertebrae by vertebrae and then rounding the spine again lifting all of your front into your back body rounding your spine as much as you can find a neutral position from here and then extend your right leg out behind you flex your right foot and then place the toes down on the ground Press then the right heel further away from you and enjoy that beautiful stretch for your calf. Having the core switched on, lifting the stomach up towards your spine. Engaging even more through the core, freeing the left leg and then step your left beside your right. Bend your knees, soften your knees and push back into a downward facing dog. Draw your chin towards your chest, lift the heels off the ground, round your spine and ripple, wave yourself towards the front of the mat. Go again, soften your knees, stick your butt out as you push yourself back into downward facing dog. Lift the heels off, tuck your chin towards your chest and wave yourself to the front into plank position. Being strong here, retract your shoulder plates, soften your knees, press back into downward facing dog one last time. And then from here, lower your knees so mindfully with so much control back down onto the mat. Let's do another cat-cow stretch. Widen your sit bones to the back of the room. And then lifting the spine up for another cat stretch. Go in your own time here for another two rounds. Reconnecting with your breath. And then find a neutral position and start to extend your left leg out behind you. Curl your toes under. Place the toes on the ground and then press the heel away from you. Stretching now the left calf. Drawing the hands towards your knees as well so the core really can switch on and your shoulder plates are retracted. Lift your right foot off and place it beside your left. Find a plank position. Lower your knees down. Chest chin follows. Push yourself all the way through. Come into cobra. Broaden your collarbones as you retract your shoulder plates, hugging the back of your knee. And then from here, find your way back into downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Take a long deep breath in. Draw your right knee into your chest, round your spine and step so gracefully to the front of the mat between your hands. Lower your left knee down and then hook your right thumb on top of your left thumb or the other way around. Spread your fingers wide like a butterfly and reach with your arms all the way to the front over your head. Tuck your tailbone under here so your lower back is protected and then shift your hips further towards the front. Lean over to your right side to get a nice lateral side stretch as well and then circle your whole torso over that right leg all the way around, landing in front of your left hip with the right leg straight, the left knee bent. Right toes are looking in the same direction as you do. Coming back to some cat-cow stretches here. And then pull your right knee in and curl your toes under. Lift your hands off the ground and start to come into a toe squat, sitting here on your heels. And this can be pretty intense. So make sure that your breath is still deep and soothing. And breathe through all the sensation that might arise. Try to stay relaxed through your neck and your face. Stretching the sole of your feet just so important, especially when you're just about to run here. Try to slow it down, slow your inside world down. Feel if you can maybe give even a bit more pressure into the heels and with that, into that stretch. And then release. Place your hands back down in front of you. Extend your right leg back out in front of you. And then transition back to the front of the mat. Free your left leg and step back into a downward facing dog by lifting the right leg off the ground then ripple your way back to the front find your plank pose inhale exhale lower your knees keep your butt high chest chin follows pushing even further towards the front coming up into baby cobra elbows are magnetized have your chest wide Drop halfway back down and then push yourself back up into down dog, coming over your knees. Lift your left leg up high, inhale. Draw your left knee into your chest, step between your hands. Lower your right knee down. Hook this time your left thumb on top of your right thumb and then 
Pull your thumbs apart as you reach all the way to the front over your head. Come into low lunge here. Tuck your tailbone under to protect your lumbar spine. And then start to lean over to your left side, having that another nourishing side stretch going on. Lean then over your left knee, circle your toes all the way over in front of your right hip. Place your hands down. Have your left leg straight now. Toes are pointing your way again. Elongate your spine to the front. And then find a neutral position and pull your left leg in. This time you keep the toes untucked. Sitting on your heels again, but trying to relax as much as you can through the front of your ankle. Maybe this is already enough and you just want to stay there. If you want to intensify the stretch for the front of the ankle a little bit, place your hands down, swallow your front body with your back body and then hug your knees up into your chest without fighting and digging with your toes into the yoga mat. Try to stay as open as you can through the front of your ankle. And then again, breathe. Breathe through it. Lower your knees back down. Extend your left leg back out to the front. Turn back towards the front. Free your right knee. And then pick your left leg up. Step back into downward facing dog. Lift your heels off the ground. Tuck your chin in as you ripple with the back of your heart into a plank position. Find your plank. And then maybe without your knees, lower yourself down into low plank. From here, inhale, cobra. Exhale. Come into tabletop position. Extend your right leg out behind you. Make sure that your hips are leveled. And then draw that right knee into your chest. Curl your spine. Inhale, reach out behind you once more. Hips are still leveled. Exhale, hug that knee all the way into the chest. And then place your right knee on top of your left knee. Kick your feet apart so there's a gap between your heels. And then push through your hands and try to lower your butt between your heels down behind you. With an inhale, come back up on your hands, on your knees. Exhale, go for a second round, pushing the hips back, almost like you're pushing into a child's pose. If it's available for you, feel free to sit down between your heels, putting, lifting the shoulders on top of your hips. Then place your hands back down in front of you. Lift your feet off the ground, tuck the toes under, free your knees. Lift them up high and then walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. So now your ankles are crossed and the knife edges are beside each other. Fold over your legs here. Make sure your neck is relaxed as well. Lift halfway. Free your right leg. Lift that right leg all the way out behind you. And then start to walk your hands out in front of you. And then it's a monster step all the way to the front between your hands or even further than that. Hook your thumbs again. Pull your thumbs apart. Coming up into a high lunge. Framing your ears with your bicep. And you tuck your tailbone under here as well. Then maybe relaxing your left leg. Lean over to your left side for a lateral side stretch. And then it's a big, big circle with your torso over your right leg. All the way over to your left side. To the point where you can place your hands in front of your left hip. Turn all ten toes over to your left side. Find a flat back position here. Left knees bent. Swallow your front body with your back body. Engage your core. And then reach with your arms to the left, right, outside. Maybe squatting even a bit lower. From here, lift your shoulders on top of your hips. And then straighten your left leg and bring your palms together on top of your head. Turn your right toes out to the front to drop down into warrior two position. Arms are now extended to the left and to the right. Right knee is bent 90 degrees. Your right thigh bone is parallel to the floor. From here, reverse your warrior. Slide your left hand down your left thigh, reaching with your right arm over your ear. And then release. Place your right forearm on your right thigh, reaching with that left arm all the way to the front. Release again. And then... Come back into a crescent lunge, turning on the ball of your foot of your left leg. 
lift your arms up high, frame your right foot, pick that right foot up, lift, swallow your front body into your back body and then step right foot beside your left foot. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels all the way up, ripple your way towards the front. Find then strength through your plank. Pull your shoulder blades back into another. From here, lower yourself down into Chaturanga Dhanasana. And then lift yourself up, coming in Cobra. Release. Find your tabletop position again. Retract your shoulder blades. Pull them down. Extend your left leg out behind you. Have your hips leveled. Engage through your core. Bring your left knee into your chest. Maybe kiss it. Mwah. Then extend your left leg out behind you again. Have your hips leveled as you do so. Pull that left knee all the way to the front again. And then cross your left knee over your right knee. Kick your right foot over to the left side. So there's a gap between your heels again. And then push through your hands. And lower your bum down between your heels behind you. If your next breath in, start to lift yourself up again. Come in on hands and knees. Exhale, you decide if you want to go all the way down, sitting between your heels, or if it's just that variation of child's pose. Lift your shoulders high on top of your hips in case you're seated. Taking another long deep breath in, having the knees airtight on top of each other. And then slowly start to release here again, walking your hands out in front of you. Lift your feet off the ground, curl your toes under, lift your knees up and then walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. Finding another forward fold with your ankles crossed, knife edges of your feet beside each other. Allow your head to drop as well. Adding in breath whenever it feels a bit stiff or tight or gooey. Half lift here. And then start to free your left leg. Bring your left leg all the way behind you. And then walk your hands out to the front of the mat. Followed by your left leg. Curl the knee into your chest. Step between your hands to find crescent lunge. Create that butterfly shape with your, with your hands again. Pulling the thumbs apart. And then lift your arms up high, 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 high. That full body, yes, that full body stretch. From here, start then to lean over to your left side. Still locking that right knee, pressing the heel away from you. And then circle with your torso all the way over in front of your right hip. Plant your hands down. Extend your left leg straight. Then elongate through your spine. It's almost as if your heart is reaching to the front. Engaging your core and then free both of your arms to the left, right outside. From here, lift your shoulders on top of your hips, straighten your right leg, bring your hands together in front of your head or on top of your head and then extend your arms out to the left, right outside for warrior two position. Make sure that you really open through your hips here. So your right hip is hiding behind your left hip. Ground through the outside plate of your right foot and then reverse your warrior. Hand of your right glides down your right thigh. Place your left forearm on your left thigh, reaching with that right arm now all the way over to the front. There comes just that wonderful eagle from the back. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it was such a special moment. <laughs> from here, come back into a crescent lunge. Lift up high and then frame your left foot. Pick your left foot up. Without any dragging noise, step your left foot beside your right foot for downward facing dog. Lift your heels off the ground. It's almost as if the back of your heart is dragging you along into the plank pose. Then find strength through your plank. Push through your toes. Lower yourself down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Push all the way through. Maybe coming into an upward facing dog if you want. Or Cobra Bhujangasana. Always available for you. Let's come back into downward facing dog. Exhale out. <sighs> And then start to walk so mindfully to the front of the mat. Really using each step to connect with the bottom of your feet, with the earth, mother earth underneath. 
Fold over your legs at the front of the mat. Micro bend your knees, sweep with your arms back and around and come up into a nice tall standing position. Bring your hands down in front of your heart center. Samastihiti. Check in with yourself. Reach your hands all the way up. Take a long deep breath in. Open your arms to left, right, outside as you exhale out. Find a flat back position first and then lean over your legs like, a water, like water falling over waterfall. Halfway lift here. Maybe place your hands on your shins. Inhale. Exhale. Fold over your legs again. From here, come back up into standing. Micro bend through your knees. Reach with your arms back and around. Coming all the way up. Looking up towards your hands. Draw your hands down in front of your heart center. Samasthiti. Inhale. Lift your arms back up. Open your arms to left, right, outside. Exhale out. Hinge your hips first and then lean over. It's almost like you're spilling over your own legs. Lifting the sit bones up towards the sky. Half a lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold over your legs. Micro bend in your knees. Reach with your arms back and around. Let's come up into standing one last time. Inhale. Hands down to your heart center. Exhale. Inhale, come back up. Create length and ground at the same time. Open your arms wide to the left, right, outside. Hinge your hips and then fold over your legs. Come into a half lift and then free your right leg. Circle that right leg all the way around over to your left side. So the knees are behind each other again. Press your right knee into the back of your left knee and then lift your shoulders on top of your hips. Bring your hands in front of your heart and start then to rotate over to your left side. Free your hands back down onto the ground. Find earth underneath. Lift your right leg back up and then step it behind you. But make that stance a little shorter than you normally would. So you can square your hips to the front, folding over your left leg, reaching with your arms to the front all the way up towards the sky, picking your torso up. Then open your legs to the left, right outside and interlace your fingers behind your back. We find that butterfly shape again, but it's behind your back. Pull your thumbs apart and then start to fold over your front leg for pyramid pose. Elongating through your spine with every inhale, Exhale, folding over your legs out. With your next inhale, pick yourself back up. Coming up high, free your arms. And then open your hips so they face the side. And turn your right toes out for 90 degrees. Triangle pose from here. Shuffle your hips to the back of the room. And then tip your left arm down. And reach with your right arm all the way up to the heavens. Stretching here your right lateral side. Staying strong and engaged. Charged through both of your legs. Release. Come back up. Arms parallel. Then swing your right arm back towards the front. So you can, can come into a lunge position. And from here frame your left foot again. Step back into downward facing dog. <sighs> Lift your heels off the ground. Ripple your way to the front of the mat. Engage through your core. Lower your knees down. Chest chin follows. Push yourself all the way to the front to lift up into cobra pose. And then release. Pick yourself back up. Come into downward facing dog. Use your yoga mat as that catwalk again to step one foot after the other to the front of the mat. Maybe touching with the heel first and then the toes. The front of the mat, find your forward fold. And then your half lift, inhale. Free your left leg. Lift that left leg up and then rotate it all the way over to the right side. Placing the knife edge down. Bending both of your knees. The left knee comes into the back of your right knee. Then lift your shoulders on top of the hips. Make sure that your hips stay square as you twist over to your right side. Still having your breath long here. And release. Place your hands back down. Free your right leg. 
rotate it back and then step your left foot back down. Sorry, it was the left leg, you freed. Find your pyramid pose here, fold over your legs, have your hips square. And then reach with your arms all the way to the front, over your head. And then open your arms to interlace your thumbs behind your back. Place the other thumb on top as well, coming out of old habits here. Puff your chest up towards the sky. Make sure your ribs don't flare. And then from here, start to bow over your right leg again. For every inhale, elongate your spine. With your next exhale, maybe fold a little lower, pulling the right outer hip back, pushing the left outer hip towards the front. Inhale, come back up, all the way up with your shoulders on top of your hips, then free your arms. And then turn your left toes out 90 degrees, maybe widen your stance a little more. Arms are parallel to the floor, then shuffle your hips over to the left side. And come down with your right hand on your shin, left arm aligned with that right arm, reaching all the way up towards the sky. Try to roll your left hip on top of your right hip here. So you feel a wonderful elongation happening for your left lateral side. Another breath in and then with an exhale, free your left arm, tack your hip, bring it back to the front for a lunge. Frame your right foot, pick that right foot up, and then step back into downward facing dog. <sighs> Find your way back into plank position, rounding the spine. It's almost like kissing your spine, your vertebrae with every ripple. Bend your knees, soften your knees, push back into downward facing dog, and then lower your knees down onto your yoga mat from here. Then start to walk your hands out all the way to the front of the yoga mat, keeping the hips still on top of the knees for extended puppy pose, allowing your heart to get open more and more as you do so. Maybe with the forehead down or if it's in your ability, feel free to put the chin down, looking towards the front between your thumbs. From here, start now to swallow your front body into your back body, rounding your spine, and then lower your hips back down. It's almost like you're inch warming yourself to the front and you land in things pose. Have your elbows underneath your shoulders. Retract your shoulder plates and hug the back of your heart with it. Then bring your left arm in 45 degrees. Bend your right knee. Heel is coming towards your right sit bone. And then start to pull that right heel in with your right arm. See how it goes. Maybe you want to stay here. Maybe you want to flip your grip. But more important than that for me would be that you still lift your pubic bone up towards the tip of your sternum. So your lower back hand still breathes in that position and you're really stretching your quads. Add in breath as always to create more space. And then without snapping out of it, let go of your right foot. Lift your sternum. Or lift your pubic bone up towards your sternum once more. Bring your right arm in 45 degrees and then reach for your left foot. Again, it's totally up to you if you want to stay there or if you want to flip your grip. Make sure that all the effects are really arriving here in your quads, maybe the front of your shoulder, and that your breath still can come smoothly supporting you through the stretches. Then release, let go of your leg. From here, place your hands back beside your rib cage. Lower your forehead down, lengthen the back of your neck and then push yourself back on top of your heels for child's pose. Really melting into that child's pose. So allow your forehead to rest on the ground and allow your elbows to be bent as well. Maybe turn even the palms facing up. Tuning in through all the layers one more time, adding in breath. And just feeling into all those after effects from your practice so far. Then round your spine, roll yourself up, come into a tabletop position, widen your legs just a little more and then place your right ankle on top of your left ankle and then sit on top of your heels. So we kind of do our own trick point massage here 
working our fascias, our Achilles. So your right ankle is working your left Achilles here. And that can be pretty intense. So see what works for you. Maybe having the hands in front of you is better than giving all the weight into the heels. Try to stay soft through the rest of your body. So even your face expression is super relaxed. Maybe you feel like rolling your head just a little bit from side to side. Being really aware of everything that's going on within. Then bring your hands back out in front of you to swap over to the other side, crossing now the left ankle on top of the right ankle. And then glide back again to sit on your heels. How does that feel? Maybe one side is completely different to the other. We work with what we got and we accept it the way it is. Taking another few breaths in and out here. And then slowly release and come into a seated position from here. Bring your hands then behind your knees and slowly start to roll yourself down into a supine position. Lift your knees into your chest. Give yourself that nice gentle hug and allow your spine to be long. And then step your left foot back down and cross your right ankle over that left knee for reclined pigeon pose. Make sure that both of your sides of your waist is long and then reach around your left leg and hug the knee into your chest, pressing that right knee actively away from you. It's your right hip you work here. You get juicy with. This is where all the effects are arriving. Relax your shoulders. Then free your arms to left, right, outside and shuffle that right knee all the way on top of that left knee. Step your left foot back down to shuffle the hips over to the right side of the mat and then allow both legs to drop over to your left side. If you want to intensify, feel free to place your left hand on top of the knee. Reach with your right arm all the way over so the chest is facing up to heavens. You're slowing it down here and maybe you notice this in your breath as well. Hmm. Allow your breath to travel through that wonderful spinal twist, rinsing everything out, allowing you to leave things on your yoga mat. Let it go. And then untangle your legs, bring your legs back up, and we swap over to the other side. Left ankle on top of your right knee. Pressing the left knee actively away from you. Elongate through your spine and then pick your right knee up and hug it into your chest. Allow your spine to be long and your sacrum to be heavy, that triangle in your lower back where the tailbone is reaching into your pelvis. Press it down into the earth. And slowly release. Scoot your left knee on top of your right knee. Reach with your arms out to the left, right, outside. Push your hips over to the left side. And then lower your legs down to the right side for another spinal twist. Get really comfortable with your shoulder blades as well. Make sure they can both ground. Another few long breaths in and out here. Hmm, you did so well. And then slowly unravel your spinal twist, coming back onto your spine, hugging the knees one last time into your chest. And then in your own way, find your way into Shavasana from here. Stretching your legs long, reaching out of your hips, moving the shoulders away from your ears so the back of your neck can be long as well. And then allow yourself to drop into that space of great awareness. 
Maybe allow your breath to come naturally again. You can still follow it if it helps you to stay connected with your inside world instead of getting distracted by any thoughts, internal conversations or any other outer distractions. Gift yourself that time for just a little longer. Time committed just to you. Feel free to stay here as long as you want to. To charge up. And I say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free or it is very appreciated if you leave love here with a like or a comment. And I hope to see you soon again.